Morning, Steve. Morning, Darren. It's going to be 20 degrees, Steve. Why have you got gloves on? <laughs> I don't know how to cold. <laughs> it's freezing. It's not cold. It is now. <laughs> I, I can take this off. It's fine. Well, just as well, I think. <laughs> So hello, welcome to Woodley. We're on the Between the Parks All Acts today. We've got 100k around from Romsey all the way up towards Andover. Lots of new roads. I've got my team with me. We're gonna have a laugh. Uh, it's not too warm at the minute. The sun is due to come out and it's supposed to be 90 degrees and lovely. Fingers crossed for that, because that sounds amazing. So we've got 100% new roads for me. I am gonna enjoy this. It's an All Acts, so we've got to collect some um, points on our brevet cards on the way around but it should be a good laugh. Are you boys ready? You're looking cold John. You're not ready Mark. No everything's falling out now. You know? You've been here since yeah, eight o'clock. How does this go on like that? <laughs> That'll do. All right, so on the way here, I had a bit of trouble with my contact lens. So I've only got one contact lens in now. So uh, coming down that descent, couldn't see very well. <laughs> I've only got the contact lens in my left eye, which uh, I can see if I close my right eye. But uh, my, right, my right eye isn't great. So uh, <laughs> I got dropped on the descent. Mad. Right, we've just reached 13k in, past the first checkpoint, and the category is called Shedding Oaks, in case I forget it later, then I can look up on the video. But Steve absolutely missed it, and we weren't going to tell him, but Mark blabbed. He could have been disqualified. We could have just let him go in the breakaway, yeah, could we? Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> I think we're in the leading group. I don't know how we're in the leading group, but I think we're in the leading group. The sun's out. Steve's still got his gloves on. What's going on, Mark? I'm going to zip this a little bit. Oh, that, that makes all the difference then. How are you wearing gloves in 17 degrees? I'm getting ready for Florida. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this route though. Beautiful roads. Rolling, lots of fields, lots of flowers. Beautiful scenery. And we're flying at the minute. Not that I'm a telltale or anything, but somebody's gone the wrong way. Where's Speedy Steve? He's gone. <laughs> he's speeded on. I think he was too focused on uh, taking his gloves off because he was getting a bit warm. Then he shot on down the hill and completely missed the turning. <laughs> oh no, is he back there? Yeah. Oh, he might have a chase on now. It'll definitely be warm when he catches us up. <laughs> Where you been, Steve? Oh, just a little detour. Fancy the sort of extra little bit of the route, you know? All right. Anything nice that way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was. Until the blind panic set in that you'd gone the wrong way. Right, so we made our way now to the second checkpoint. This is the halfway point at 44 kilometers. Um, just such a stunning route so far and the weather, sun's out, there's cake. <laughs> what else can you ask for? What a great day out. Um, yeah, try an Audax. <laughs> I 
And this is only a 100k one, it's not one of the ridiculous distances, so there are some decent distances on there as well. I am having a ball today, I'm absolutely having a ball. Interview time, Mark. You enjoying it today? Got not a lot to say. <laughs> um, yeah, it's absolutely, we've got a lovely day ahead of us and it's good. Yeah. Those, um, those chaps, yeah. they've cycled from Portsmouth. Cycled like from Portsmouth? Yeah. So we thought we were good <laughs> overtaking them. They've been, they've been cycling on the road from Portsmouth. Was his bike sounding that bad all the way from Portsmouth as well? <laughs> cycled from Portsmouth to here, doing the route and then back, so doing 200k. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Easy peasy, yeah. On a peanut, haven't you? Hey, could, you, could, you could you put up with that creep for 200k? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even find it for 5k. <laughs> Right, so we've arrived in Clanville where checkpoint number three is. We're supposed to be able to find the name of the chapel. So we're on the lookout for a chapel. Anybody see a chapel? Here, chapel, chapel, chapel. Well, for some reason, we managed to miss it. We've come all the way through the village and we've not seen a chapel at all, so. Where the hell's that? <laughs> How obvious. All right, so we're still looking for it. They stopped to ask at the pub and going back through the village. No idea, no idea at all. <laughs> right, so we've had to come back quite a way, all the way to the other side of the village. We think we might have found it. It's pointing in the other direction. I don't know how we're supposed to see that. St. Margaret's Chapel. We come <laughs> all the way back to find St. Margaret's Chapel. Got it, St. Margaret's. Right, so remember that, St Margaret's Chapel. <laughs> Onwards. I suppose they're only saving grace, Mark, because it wasn't at the, at the top of the hill that we just come straight past and go back up the hill for. <laughs> yeah. St Margaret's. St Margaret's Chapel. I didn't realise we had to have a degree in Sherlock Holmes to compete in an Audax. <laughs> Right, so we've arrived in the village of Greatly, which is where the next checkpoint is. This one was a lot easier. There's a sign right in front of the school. One and a quarter miles is the answer. One and a quarter miles from the school to the station. So, in case I forget, one and a quarter miles. <laughs> So according to Steve's Garmin, that was the last climb. So we should be pretty much all the way down back to the finish. Looking for a pub lunch now though. They got me, uh, got me excited for a pub lunch. We can't find a pub that's open.
So we are now 82 beautiful kilometres into this ride. It's checkpoint time. We're looking for Church Lane. We've got to find the distance for something for something. Um, Steve's just going to check his card. Hopefully it won't be as hard to find as that bloody chapel. Oh, it's a pub. <laughs> hey there. The clue might be in the name. There might be a church in it. Past this one. Looks, looks like it. <laughs> one and a half. Which is Church Lane? Well, it's Church, Church Lane. So East Tiffley is one and a half miles. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. So the answer is one and a half miles to East Tiffley from Church Lane. None of us have got a pet. <laughs> They're just coming in handy making a vlog because I can just keep recording the answers. Just loving this moment, can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment, can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Because I'm just loving this moment, can we it's stay here? Steve. It's a few degrees colder in the trees and the sun's gone in. You sure you don't want to put your gloves back on? I'm actually thinking about it. <laughs> Goosebumps? <laughs> Thank God there's no more climbs on this. How was that, boys? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Nice to have some good weather for once. Yes. Lovely route path from that last little bit through the town centre, but yeah. bloody cars, hey, getting in the way. There's at least, there's at least two beers back. Gentlemen, we were first back, got the same time as the two that were first back, but they didn't have St. Margaret's Chapel. They, they had Bumblebee. So I reckon that's a yeah. a win. That's a win. On a on a non race event it still counts. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it non racy, very non racy. F first back because John wants to go to the pub. <laughs> yeah. Well I will comment we went past seventeen pubs and no eight, pints. Eighteen. 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 And I am so glad I took part in that. That was 100 kilometers of some of the best roads I've ridden. So much nice scenery, lovely rolling. Not too many steep climbs. I mean, there were some climbs and there was definitely at least three climbs after Steve's Garmin said it was the last climb, but we'll let him off. But it was such a great route. Really, really enjoyed it. The weather came out and uh, that really helps when the sun's shining. And now we're gonna find something to eat, have a drink and uh, try and recover. We were four hours 20. I think we've done 100k in, so not too shabby for me. But anyway, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video. Oh,